This video is specifically to outline the fees. So as of today, September 2nd, 2023, the current price of SCF is $60 and one penny um, equivalent to USDT. But as I said, this video is about fees. So if you watch my previous videos, um, I like to outline and, you know, put some respect on the fact that every transaction that you do has a transaction fee. And if you compare to my previous videos, I just switched to the quick pledge um, tab. For those of you who are following along, I'm on the SCF tab at the bottom and I have clicked on quick pledge at the top and things will be highlighted in orange to let you know that that is the current page that you're on. So if you look at this page, the SCF fee is 0.0003 SCF. And that's while I'm here at USDT and it's showing you how much BNB, but if you switch up here on the drop down menu to FUSD main, you'll see that if you're gonna do a quick pledge, there is zero SEF cross chain fee here. And then there is 0.0003 SEF as a pledge minor fee, estimated, right? So if I go over to the SCF exchange tab and I type in, in the US, um, the FUSD, box if i type in um well let me not get ahead of myself if i swap here so that scf is at the top and i type in the fee 0 0.0003 it tells you down here that that's worth about one a little over one and a half pennies okay if you round up two pennies right 0.02 and that's the largest fee because if you look over here on the exchange tab if you're going to exchange SCF to FUSD or FUSD to SCF by clicking this tab here the fee always remains 0.00024 so but if you round up 0.0003 which again if you round up is about two pennies now again we're going to switch to the liquidity tab if you go over to see what's the fee to add liquidity to the pool here we have the miners fee which is 0.00025 again less than 0 0.0003 and therefore less than two pennies. If you go back and watch the past couple of videos that I did before they put out this um, 4.0.2 update, the fees were, not every fee, but a tiny bit um, higher. And I've noticed since the update, the fees are a lot lower. And of course I'm happy about this, and let me just for completeness sake, um, sake, go over to the FUSD exchange tab and um, let's just pretend I don't have any USDT in here, I don't think. No, I don't. As, as you can always look, your balance shows there. But if you look at the cross chain fee here, that tells you you're gonna um, owe about 0.2% plus um, however much BNB. And if you go to the drop down menu, you can change it to ERC20. And the fee is going to be in ETH. And you can change it to Tron, USDT, TRC20. And actually, let me let me type in there so you can see. The fees are going to be in Tron. Okay. So um, I just wanted to point that out because... If you are doing any kind of, oh, and one more tab, let me go down here to show you because the reason I showed you all those tabs is because if you are doing it the long way 
to get to um, doing the liquidity pledge and pledging your LP token. When you come to this page, if you're trying to do a quick pledge, it's going to be 0 0.0003, which I already showed you is under two pennies. But if you're trying to do an LP pledge, if you click on that, it shows you down here that the fee is 0 0.00015. So 1.5 is going to be half of 30. So we already know this is going to be one penny around. Okay, and I can show you that over here. If we go back to SCF Exchange, if I type in to make SCF on the top here, if I type in 0 0.00015 and you look down here, that is less than one penny. Okay, we're rounding here. But um, as I told you, 0 0.0003 is is double that you know 0 0.00015 and if we round it up because i think it was 0 0.017 something and some change and i round it up to two pennies just to kind of exaggerate the fact that the fees are so much lower um i mean they were already low to begin with but right now as as i just showed you if you want to do the long way to get to um, staking, you're going to have to, um, you know, you may have to swap some, uh, SCF to SUF, FUSD or vice versa. So that's going to be a fee, which is, um, a little under two pennies. And then you would add liquidity, which if you go here, the fee is, um, again, a little under two pennies. And then once you add the liquidity, if you, uh, you then state your LP token by going here, then going to liquidity pledge, then going here to LP pledge. And again, the fee is less than, that's gonna be less than a penny. So you've got less than two penny plus less than two pennies plus less than one penny is gonna be less than five pennies, okay? Which is going to be, so much greater because it's going to allow you to be able to stake even more. And just to show you, I mean, this is like overboard, but um, if you type in how much SCF is five pennies, how much FUSD, I mean, yeah, how much SCF, you always have to type in zero point before you do that. I forgot. Um, but look at that. Five pennies worth of FUSD is this amount, which obviously you could have added that on your own on the calculator or in your head. But I'm just showing you how much the fees would be going through every single transaction. That's still equaling um, less than five pennies, which right there, 0 0.00083 at the time of this video. And I'm so happy about that because it's gonna allow so many more people to be able to actually go through with the long stake because one of the things that um, always trip people up is they forget to leave enough uh, crypto in there for the actual transaction fee. You know, they'll be trying to do the exact amount to put in the stake or the exact amount to put in the transaction and they don't account for the transaction fees. But SCF is amazing in the fact that their transactions are fast and their fees are low. So that's all I wanted to highlight in this video and I hope that you enjoy it as much as I do.